on the retreat. I think he's brave enough to get himself up on the site, spots the pit drop. And 1x bet agrees with you, Chad. Just a slight leniency towards the OG boys and here in the third. The veto from our analyst said heavily favors the boys of OG. Let's see if they can back it up with a pistol win. Well, right now, we've already got NIP with full long control. They've got the two smokes, one for res, one for device. There's a P250 in the mix as well. And uh, Flames is taking a little bit more flak. Bullets just whizzing past his ear. They're set up to contest this here. And this is where the Alexi B flashbang is going to come into play. They're in such a premium position. Pushing. Everyone's here. It's time for deathmatch. Bomb dust too, and a nice calm collection from man two. Quite the contrary for NIP. They're just catching oh, this bullets. Is nuts. Absolutely <laughs> ruined. All of the USPs there. All of the USPs connect. An OG with a spotless one. Yeah, but it's uh, there's layers to that, right? We were on Mantu's POV during all of this here. But look at Mantu is tasked with just fighting the guy Pit, the guy passive, who is to get the other two. The other two guys who are stepping out, I think it's Flames and Volta during all of that. They're the ones who are tasked with killing the players close to the smoke. The fact that they walk away with that flawless by initiating aggression, close range to the Glocks, that is mental. What a round there to win for OG and just the style they did it in. I love that. Yeah, and dude, how many people just got free upgrades into the helmet as well? Like, look at the weapons. They're extra threatening now. Juicy sacks of util as well. I shouldn't say juicy sacks. Harry's arrived in the studio. We'll start oh making dear. silly jokes. Oh, dear. It's a PG-13 broadcast until Harry rocks up. And you guys got to put the kids to bed. Certainly. That's why he's on the later shift. <laughs> Past the watershed. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Nico's ready to mow them down here if they go out mid to B, which is what device is trying to usher the red carpet for. He's been fought. Mantu's found him. And in the head-to-head -head early, Mantu looking Ooh, good. One out the doors. He dares you. <laughs> he wants you to come through. And Nico does too. Only the one on the UMP. Mantu does have to be passive. Still taking all of the shots and hitting them too. Three on this scout. NIP falling apart. And only the hamper scout. Two taps is all it takes. Okay, so Device into a scout there and everybody else on Glocks. Maybe you think you found yourself in a bad matchmaking experience, but no, Device wasn't going to be able to have the AWP in the next round to play anyway. He might just rock the scout again, try and do a similar job as to what you'd see him do. Actually, oh. no, Plopsky, turns out apparently he's Device's best friend over there at NIP. Doing a bit of a Sanji job right now, giving Device the AK-47. Plopsky apparently happy to wield the Deagle here. That's who's going to keep that scout up. So the scope advantage reigns with OG, and they are pushing up mid. They are oh. straight up the guts. This is nuts. Yeah, I think the comms and the communication was go fast Plopsky's or go I think home. Eagle for this. Yeah, but it's fine. Nika was looking the wrong way. Alexi has wrapped through suicide. Maybe it's the bait and switch that could lead to some mega frags. Yo, this is such an unchecked position. I don't think they're accounting for it, you know. The longer that Alexi bides his time, the more likely he is to have them caught Oh, out. my God, yeah. the timing on it's... this for Alexi has worked out fantastically. He almost got caught there. The biggest issue is Hampus in tunnels right now. So Alexi needs to get something out of this scenario, and he should. Unless Counter-Strike timing plays a hand again. MP9 at range. First burst dead. So log towards long, three of them. And that molly will close the door behind them. But remember, Hampus is unknown right now. Still towards the upper tunnels. Uh, Alexi wants info, but this is could be the demise of the round here for OG. Just oh. walking on in. Rez as well. Cavalier as you like. Wow, and that came so easy to Rez, and Hampus will take the open B site now. This is where it gets weird. Mantu's back's turned right now. Yeah, this gets weird. Mantu's tucked in. They both choose to aggress up mid, so they might pass each other. Hampus is still the unknown entity, but through long, it can go wrong. Hampus can't kill anybody, though. No, they've avoided him nicely, whether it's awareness or not. They're crossing now. Flames is still on this site with an MP9. It shouldn't be more than one, but he has got a little bit of support from Mantu. Well, they know he's CT now. Yeah, they spotted him out, and there goes Flames. Good catch. Device with the drop M. Oh, AK, but the M4 is only good for the one. Valder did arrive. And now Mantu's going to go galloping off to see if he can find something a little better. Alexi's corpse should have something for him. Thank yeah, you. That'll do, I think. Get Mantu out of there. Money's still quite good for Mantu, so keeping this... We might see OG go for a bit of a uh, menagerie of a buy here, right? He could drop that. He could buy himself an AWP into the next round. He's still got armor. He's got a kit. So that would be nice. And NIP getting on the board in what was a, quite a confusing round there for moments. There was patches where it looked like OG had just completely stifled them on the bonus. There were others where NIP took all the power with the hampers flank. And they will walk away with this. Now, it's interesting to see that seems to be the new T side way of dealing with the CT response to the long all in. Right, so the T's go long all in, the CT's go, all right, well, 
we're going to clear out close mid. We're going to clear out lower dark. Some of them are going for the, uh, the double upper dark tunnel push, right? Teams like G2, if you remember rightly, Hunter would always go for the walkthrough B late when they'd rotate to deal with that long play. It looks like Hampus is doing a little bit of that here. So let's see if that's a common thread that continues. Because they only knew that he went through... Well, they only knew he came through CT, right? They don't actually know if he came through B all the way. Yeah, and Lexi inspecting his mouse after that one. Maybe it, it skipped. It was an odd skip. Yeah. It looked like it really flicked way more than he was looking to do. But yeah, looked a bit miffed after that one. Could have been a very impactful frag onto Rez if he had found it. Well, they have bought behind this, right? Mantu did go into the AWP. Alexi got his hands on that rifle. Flames and Volda into the Famuses, and it will just be Nico down to the Deagle here. So trying to make this one work, and device only with a scout. So Mantu has the bigger of the scope rifles in this one. Hinge smoke for Hampus deployed. And Mantu can get a kill here. Shot goes awry. Flames will take the space. I mean, that's something, right? He can just park it now. Long door's set for success. He has a shadow advantage that might just equal out the FAMAS disadvantage. Right now, there's still a lot of options here for NIP. They've got Hampus quite aggressive out the doors. Rez chiming in here as well, posturing for this mid to B, and the two smokes could be the commit. Full mid to B util, Chad, and they just smoke off the tons in response. They smoke off the window in response and have nothing to report from B side. Now, Plopsky's just charging in. The bullets through the smoke have been caught. Alexi down, Valder hiding in plain sight. It's only good for the one. So NIP, they've taken the site. It looks like Flames isn't done yet. Mantu and more passive stance to keep hold of the orb. If Flames doesn't find anything off his first spray. Is there an M4 retrievable? I think there is CT. That might be the comms now. Yeah, get on back, save that gun, keep these rounds as competitive as possible here. And AK's even better. So they're walking away with the best of the bad bunch here, OG. Yeah, but NIP have already shown us a, you know, a couple of different looks. Uh, we've seen the long all-ins and looking potent, at least with the weapons. I think a good thing that happens there as well, just to go through like the in-game leader brain, it's unlikely that there was going to be two orps, considering the uh, lay of the land right there. So as soon as you identify Mantu's orp is long, he takes that shot, you know that he's likely just playing mid-long. He's not floating doors. You know how we see the orp has float doors, stay around that angle. So he's not there to make the mid to be difficult. Two smokes, they can't do anything whatsoever. And you can see what happens. You put those traces through, well, you become a very, very juicy morsel. Yeah, and you're talking about those orbs as well. It was really interesting when we, we dove into OG's overpass comms. Uh, we had like a little bit of a player mic check, and you could just hear how frequently they were spotting device. Wherever he was, they just say, orb is X, orb yeah. is Y. It's not just one, it's orb. And I think that's an important and integral component of the comms. And very brave of Alexi to try and cross back. He tests device and does get punished for it, tagged up. Mantu waiting for the flash here. We'll peek on out. Oh, oh and two has opportunities a so yeah. far. They're aware as well, though, right? The fact that he cops some bullets. I know these moves are coming, so. Havis continuing to look for space here. And this is the position I was just mentioning. Mantu with the slither gap through the doors. Has another crack with the AWP. Oh, so blind and eliminated. It's only a USP alongside as well. That's perfect from Hampus and NIP. They have dealt with it. Looks like Linus could deal with this as well. Goes down to the Flames AK. The bomb should have an open path, an open runway. It's just up to them as to when and where. Heading to B, it looks like. He's ahead of the smoke, so perhaps a bit more of a deterrent than they encountered for. Flames is still being pushed on. I like the reposition. You in the smoke against them now. He doesn't have to worry about tunnels. Her backs are turned, looking for the reaction out of Alexi. And he's hiding bricks. They're looking the wrong way. Flames, that's amazing. He's given OG a bit of a chance here. I say a bit, more like a lot. Unfortunately, though, Rez is actually going forward. Oh my God. Oh my uh, God, Dirty Straight seconds. into Alexi. Is he running into Alexi with he's his He's gonna USB? clear this, surely he's gonna yeah. clear this. 30 HP. No, 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 no! Precise headshots and Flames combined with Alexi to finish. What a valiant defense that was from Flames. I'm impressed. What was Rez scared of on the B side? I mean, that's the question. I suppose the round the world, right? They had no info tons. Maybe that's where Alexi was going to emerge. This is the frag. Gets Hampus and then repositions just to the bricks position. Plopsky's caught looking the wrong way. Incredible string of frags. But I, 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 I don't know. Like that one, like Alexi, the pressure on Alexi right there to hit that shot, it's not an easy one anyway. We can diagnose that later. Let's get back underway here. The AKs are out. There's no AWP for device. Long control taken. <laughs> I'm still in recovery, game. bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, boy.
And they're walking straight into Alexi B. He gets the info. They might want to test their limits in the Flames. They choose not to. And it's Brave of Flames to continue. Is he going to be set up for something? They boost on the box. They can fire off shots. Oh, my not Lord. far off. And they stack nades onto the toes. That's perfect. Resmoke. They've got a perfect read and a denial of NIP. They're posturing so heavily for short. They're trying everything they've got. And then away boost late. Oh, it could catch him. The smokes will fade on device's position first. Waiting to strike. Vision's restoring. Flames another. And Flames with it all again. Another round out of this dude. It's just Hampus now. He has long, sure, but the fights have all gone down. His teammates are in the grave. Would have to hit some absolute bangers here. And well, that's the first. Flames finally falls. Yeah, Valor just ducks out. He doesn't have the bomb. Like, how's he going to do this? 48 points of health here. Gets a chance. Nico a little bit cheeky <laughs> with the jump, isn't he? I think he thought it was a safe way to get info, but yeah, had Hampus hit another one of that spray, it was his way in. But with 20 seconds left, the poor guy's booked. Too many angles to clear. Not enough time to do so. Oh. And he's going to take the save himself here. So... That was wild, right? The fact that Flames, right? We, we had that round. There was the Mantu Orb and there was the Flames AK, right? Flames actually got helped out. I think it was by Hampus who smoked tunnels, which meant that he could just draw his attention over towards that B Hill play, right? We're going to take a look at it again here. So he kills... He's in the site. He's got the bomb. There's 30 seconds. He's so worried about B. He... The, like, he was in B. Like, the only place that he's should be concerned about would have been tunnels in that environment. He could have planted safe. And of course, it's a silenced USP. So that swing just is no just idea. He could be, he think He's thinking it's like long car, it's anything. That was that couldn't have worked out better for Alexi. Yeah. Huge stuff from Flames. I mean, that's really given OG a lovely bit of momentum. Some pep in their step. Yeah, for sure. They don't want to contest long right now either, OG, right? They know that somebody's out. They've heard that extinguish. That guarantees it. And they're just rejigging the CT setup. So they're happy to play for short control. Let Flames just sit and deliver more of what he just did. Mantu now towards the top of A, up in Goose here with the AWP. Best weapon for the job against what is Hampus's AK. Just have to take that one out. And they've actually run boosted the player across, have they? Yeah, some damage onto the only armored member. But Hampus's AK still takes down that orb. All right. I mean, he's got no health, Chad. The rest of them have just got blocks. If they could pull a plant out of this, that would be impressive, but it would require another two frags. Are they going to run boost again? I, they kind of have to to open yeah. up all these avenues of attack. I mean, it would be over Alexi on that elevator position. He's not currently actively holding it, and neither... Are... Oh, Alexi <laughs> takes down one of the long players on the extension. And they'll all swing in for contact. It's just too much. Overwhelming them. Lars is there and finished off neat and tidy. Okay, five to two, the scoreline reads right now. Really starting to get some wind beneath their wings here, OG. They have that CT side at AWP in Mantu's hands again. I'd love to see one of uh, Nico Avalda throw that AK to Flames. He's a bit, of a bit of a monster here. He's carrying that Mirage performance through. He has 13 kills. The next closest on his team so far has only five. Flames has had so much impact in the early stages of this game. He's yeah. really set OG up with his buffer that we're looking at now. Yeah, he's a sicko. I think like Spinks as well, like I do also think that Flames just, uh, he's living in a fancy land when he gets to sit down on that boot <laughs> camp ping. 10 ping. <laughs> yeah, what is he looking at actually? Yeah, he's not playing on 11 ping every day of the week, no, I'll tell you not. that much. He really is not. So this is an, an absolute luxury and he thrives when he's given that. It's like, it's like he's been training with the, the absolute disadvantage, the extra leg weights on of the 50 ping fragger. How long is it going to be until we see NIP with everybody with a rifle in their yeah, hands? Yeah, there's because, always one caveat, isn't there? Yeah, and I guess that's just due to the hampers say, but the Vice at least has his AWP. And Yanko wanted something out of either of these AWPers, so let's see who steps up to the plate first. Mantu with another near miss. Yeah, but hampers is so ballsy. Not many people are going for dry peaks like that into the AWP, just trying to use the flames of that nade or molly. Catch them off guard, hinge smoke deployed to enable the mantle up Xbox safe. And it's a three-man B lean out of the OG camp. They're thinking of mid to B's coming in. And that worked against them before, remember? So, not a bad little contingency being called out here from Alexi, but about to have some trouble as Rez and Hampus are working their way up short. Still no real intent. You can still see the bomb on device. Flames 
Checks towards long, sees nobody at home. If he goes too aggressive, he might get caught out in a biff, in a fight. And actually gets away. His crosshair is just bang on all the time. Surely he doesn't want to continue with this. Till wants blood and he takes him on the pixels. That's so important. That is such a hard fight to win as well. Plopsky's got all those ratty car angles. Now, Alexi's got a lot to contend with. The smoke buys time. That's the T1, though, so they might boost over that. Just got forward on it. It's perfect. Rez jumps to survive. He does just elevate himself out of the line of fire. The nade's got him booked. He's still kicking, and so is the NIP chances here. Linus, ready for the first. Walking up long, and the pressure is coming from multiple fronts. Alexi, however, has taken down Rez before the concern. Gap for that bomb cross, and Mantu does deal with it. Poor device, no chance to hold his orb here. And the swing from Mantu's a bit short. But nothing to complain about. OG are up to six already, looking good on this defense. I really can't stress enough how crazy this fight is from Flames. It is just Alexi B on the bomb site at that moment in time. If Flames dies, Alexi has two choices. None of them are great. <laughs> One of them is play in A and hide. The other is go take a fight either long or short. Actually, give him a third option. He could have played retake. Flames was the only other A defender, and he just pushed the issue against somebody literally waiting for that push twice. Yeah, and a professional who knows all of the ins and outs of those exchanges as well. Flames just books him. Like, there's, there's no backup. There's not like there's a safety net orper here, and OG are feeling themselves now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're into B, need a couple, and Nico's provided it. Bodies drop, an NIP melt. That's seven, it's one of the quickest rounds we've seen on Dust2. They're running straight towards that eight. They could take the win on the half here in the 10th. <sighs> I wouldn't want to be NIP right now. The fact that OG have this kid who, it seems like they've just let him off the leash. Like, I, I can't explain that fight he went for other than that they're letting him off the leash right now. <laughs> It's the, this also, this duo of Nico and Volder, they play together in a lot of these B-bomb sites, right? Like, it's quite the duo to have. Put your Danes, who are known for being able to anchor down bomb sites together, it's a lockout. I love watching Nico's replays because you can just tell when he's firing, you know? His <laughs> eyes wide and his lips pucker. Mantu got an opportunity and he does not let that one go. Hampus caught just through the door. Flames and Plopsky, the standoff continues. And this time it's Plopsky taking pot shots. Yeah, Plopsky only one kill so far, right? So having a bit of a rough time here on Dust2, but it's not like anybody on NIP is popping off right now. This setup looking really, really good for OG. They've been able to get the AWP back towards A. Alexi, the swingman, Flames locking down long. He's got so many luxuries and the double setup on this B bomb site. And that's where it's looking right now, where NIP want to finish. Valder tucked in. Well, yeah, he's actually actively fighting. And he'll be the first contact. There's two of them there, oh, and he takes looking. them both. Oh, my God. Valder doesn't need help. OG are just taking multi-kills on their own. Valder's not only won the round, he's taken the bomb down. He's locked Vez out of it. And he's just left one thing. Like, uh, anyone want to feed me a frag, maybe three? That would be nice. It, it's felt really good for OG, right? Like, even when they have run into some problems, their info plays have been great. And then on top of that, their individuals are just hitting everything. So this is Rez with an opportunity. Could have threaded the needle here, actually. Oh, he knows Volder is around. Does he know that Volder has slipped towards T spawn? The answer is no. And Rez will actually get past here. So Volder playing this one safe. Yeah, very safe. Nice headshot to finish. That's a quad kill out of Volde, and what a defense. He had nothing left, right? Nico was still flirting with the doors, but he's actively holding just enough of an off angle that NIP were looking elsewhere. I don't think either of them were looking at him. This should be nine right now. I think we have to see something that's a bit more pacey out of NIP, right? If they're gonna go for maybe an all in, they have some long spawns on the likes of Plopsky and Rez here. They, they could opt for something quite aggressive, but there needs to be a bit of a pace change now. The scoreline's eight to two. They're in this max loss bonus territory, so they can definitely go for a half by like we're seeing right here, right now. And it is out long they go. Well, look who's here this time. Flames will call for a little bit of aid. He's actually backed up into the site quite quickly. <sighs> There's problems already. Nico's just neutralized lower dark. Mansu has complete top mid information. Alexi B now grouping up just to make sure all of this is clear. They know that it's going to be the long play. And with these lower buy weapons, it's not going to be easy. They're not going to be able to take these fights. They're going to have to hope for a skirmish here. So how much are OG going to give them on the cross? Cheeky one way. Alexi's got a lineup. We'll throw it. 
as his team communicate the cross. Nade looks good. Oh, look at this little set of Util. Softens him up. Drops his smoke. It's late. Like, oh, it's a bit too late, yeah. And now a missed orb shot as well. Suddenly that bomb site becomes very realistic. Great, Molly. Nearly took down the bomb planter. Bantic and Remolly. On his retreat. And then Remolly does come in. Hampus, however, is getting more frags done. Another oh. one into the head of flames. NIP. They needed him. And he has delivered. Is it enough for a round? Bomb now planted. They are on light guns, don't forget. So Valder and Nico's presence is still leaving a foreboding feeling. And oh. as I say that, they back it up. I can't believe it. I can't believe they're not even going to have a look in for this. Things have been going so good. Maybe now. Volta can still come up catwalk here. You'd think. They're just... You've got kids, boys. It's light. Device, it's, it's planted for him, but he's only got a scout. Your org is safe bet in that head-to-head. -head. And Linus brings the fight. Goose to be cleared. It's getting a bit light on time. And yeah, Device hitting a shot with that scout is enough to send Valder away. He'll try and be threatening. Doesn't really have the time for this. So just baits the shot, confirms Device's presence, and should just about get away from that radius with two HP to spare. Woo-wee, NIP, they get one back. Oh, a device lucky to get an upgrade there, right? I know the round is what they came in here for, but you don't want to be stuck with a scout into the next round to play. This was great stuff. Hampus just continuing to fight. And these mollies, they would have just been harassing. This is using the smoke against them, right? Alexi B died dropping this smoke and then able to use that against them. That is a bit of a fumble right there from OG. Everything else has been looking really good up until this point. Yeah, so dropping the ball on that one. Threat's going to be getting fired up and back towards long they go. Mantu's here this time round. Orp the Orp action. Double. Oh no, they both go down. Holding hands and skipping through the long doors. Mantu crashes the party. That celebration short lives. Slap in the face right now. And look at this. Volda oh. taking space as quick as you like. Short or mid to be are the only two options right now. Oh, it would be the perfect call to counter this. I mean, it's on Nico, but he's going to be smoked off. He might unload his mag, but they're going to be through. Two smokes, it's clear where they're going. Valder's gonna have to run, but oh my God, Nico catches them with their pants around their ankles. This round is done. Rez getting shot at from every angle through the smoke. They're closing in on his location, a nice try. But OG are right back into the driving seat of this one, thanks to Mantu. Oh, where are you meant to go, Rez? You still think Valder's on the site? He's had tunnels for about 30 seconds now. Pull it in the side of the head, call that nine. What a great round. And, and Mantu, we wanted some impact right there, just blinded on up. Uses his spawn to his advantage, and here it is again. Just gets a glimpse of them before that flash goes off and walks away with a double. Wouldn't have had any idea that it happened, you know? The boy's celebrating. Yeah, I don't want to be hypercritical when it's a 3v5 and you're doing something on the fly, but it was odd that he got so, like, two backs turned on that CT push. I mean, it's a very common little push. Often you have someone housekeeping. I suppose they had to focus their attention on B. The timing of that flash would have been just off, right? Like, the, they needed to get that flash out just a second earlier. Not even a second, no, a millisecond earlier. Oh, walking through the smoke. Here's Hampus again. Oh, they can both go down here. Oh, the Navy knows. He suspects oh, it. Oh, they know now. Oh, my God. Everyone just holds down mouse one, and it oh. ends in favor of the ninjas. That's big. And actually, he's kindly provided one of the two smokes they fancy. Hampus can get some serious space, and Valde is so concerned about Hampus, he's evacuated B as they edge through the smoke tons. Maybe Valde can catch him off guard here. Hampus is wise to their tricks with the flash. Oh, behind you! Didn't clear him, and that's the end of that. Bomb, has been Bomb down. It's the pistols again. Twice. And, and, and this time, they're gonna they're, save. yeah. But it's the right call, right? But the fact that they're having a hard time against the pistols, but having an easy time against those rifles, I shouldn't call it an easy time. Yeah, well, it helps when Hampus does what he just did there. Yeah, and, and that's why when, you know, we do see the buyers that are Hampus on an AK and everybody else on Eagles or something of the sorts here, it becomes easier to justify, but this got really messy. Great shot there from Hampus. Such a force. And look, they've got no idea where this man is. Look at him. Take all day hitting that shot. So bomb's about to go off. There's enough money to drop some guns across and make the buy again for OG here now. You'd love to walk away with this half with at least 10 because you've been owning them, right? You've been absolutely owning them. The score at one point was eight to two, right? You, you had a nine to three. You don't want to finish the half nine to six. So one more for OG to put in the back pocket, take to the bank. Coach Ruggle will be happy with that. But NIP have given them a lifeline. They've manufactured it with these lower buy rounds time and time again. Let's see if they can actually apply some pressure here to the international squad that can. I mean, last time they got the full buyout, Mantu canceled the round within the first 15 seconds. I suspect with a corner smoke dropped. 
and just flames here on long. It's not going to have the same fate. But NIP again with their long control. This is where OG have been great. They've yeah. had really good mid-round reactions, right? They understand the timer that they're working on. They know what territory the NIP have. And then from there, they just try and grab a couple of bits and bobs of info to set themselves up for the post. Upper Dark needs to be cleared here. And that smoke is going to hold Hampus at bay. Nico pushing up mid. He's on a solo adventure right now. Starting to get the inklings that it will be that long finish. So Nico's position secures them. They have to go A now. Flames and Alexi top site. Man to cover off mid and Volder just to deal with that lurk of Hampus. Oh, Flames dices with death, puts his head very briefly Device is not, looking. Device is not, not looking at all. Considered it. Oh, okay, don't. you wouldn't go for more, Nico. This could be greedy. Yeah, he'll take Device down before it gets out of control. Linus has found two in the way in, and Rez needed that. Now he's down the 2v2 established, and Mantu seems aware that Hampus' mid-presence is, yep, getting very pushy. Oh, what a shot just before the flash pops, and Linus last seen on A. Trying to piece this one together. Linus has been pretty good for a clutch or two, Chad. He's been really good in these situations, usually up against four players, not just two. So this time round, 30 seconds Easy off the mode. Clock. Yeah, this is a chance for Linus here. Does he just knife out to B? I mean, that's the question. Mantu's asking the same. Time's such a problem for him, isn't it? Yeah, he has to go loudly now and confirm Mantu's suspicions. Some good connections out of the AWP there. And that is the tent that they were so seeking. Yeah, I think if he gets that one, you might have to start doing some Linus clutch tips because the, the, the guy has actually won quite a few for his yeah. status, right? Like, if you go back and watch just a few of the clutches he's won in this group, they've, they've been beautiful. Yeah, and convincing. By no means, you know, fed to him. Mantu finishing the job, though, and 10. OG, yeah, Rug is going to be absolutely elated. And the fact that there is a potential for an 11th as well, Chad, it's not dreamy for the Ninjas. It's been the case this whole T side. These are the type of rounds they've been winning, though, where yeah. the buy hasn't been great. So let's see. Fast up Cat, Hampers and Rez leading the charge. Alexi rotating over as quick as you like here to just cotton this one off. The Flames is actually pushing long during all of this. Yeah, I wonder how far he pushes it, though. It's smoked. And they will be fully gathered up shorts. They're so early and with so many nades. They have everything they need right now for an A execute. Like the mollies for ramp and side. They have the smokes to make Mantu's life a little bit more difficult. Utility in exchange right now. It's on. Yeah, here he comes. The fierce Swedish entry. Fragger does it again. Hamper strikes. And Worm in his way into the site now. Device posted up to punish the scout. Not the best weapon for the job, but he's kept two players busy. Oh, more tags. Yeah, they've got no health left, Chad. It's the last round of play in Flames. Oh, had a chance. It's short-lived. Mantu is on long, and he's made that clear, which keeps Hampus honest. Another one from the Orpa, and he's aggressing. He wants to put more pressure on to combine with Nico, and another stunning headshot puts Rez on notice. He has to come up clutch now. He's been asked to 1v3. They are so low. It's so attainable, and he will find the first two. Valder's his next victim, and that's not enough. Valder too quick on the punch. And so 11 acquired. Very valiant attempt out of res. Well, they're just having a bit of fun here. OG setting themselves up. 11 rounds to four. There you can see NIP. They're going to have to have some crisis talks here heading into the break. We'll be right back. Their rounds here on that T half came with crippled buys. Just some deagles and AKs kind of thrown together. But here we go. What are OG going to throw at them here? Res taking... <laughs> A little bit of contact in mid early. I just read the chat as well. Hampus has been researching in the break which Crosshair Flames uses. <laughs> you think he wants to steal it? Oh, Simple in the making, they say. Oh, those 1x bet odds have definitely. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Quite the heavy turn here against NIP, and it makes sense with this current scoreline. Plopsky's gotten away. He's head down, bum up. Oh, and only one kill for Plopsky. I don't know if it's going to get better, Alex. Oh, he's being pushed, bro. And yeah, they're just into the belly button. A little bit of lint hit. But that's about it. Hampus, he has been the shining beacon for the ninjas, but this time it's just a step too far, and I, I fear. And then that sharp inhalation of breath from Chad Sponge Burchill, it does mark the beginning of the end for the ninjas in pajamas. Linus has got his favorite, well, actually, it's Rez who has his favorite combo here, the diffuse kit, no smoke. That's one thing you need, at least for the retake here, but they're not even going to get close to the side. Absolutely mince meat right now. Five players from OG stay alive, and that's both pistol rounds in this map that they converted with everybody staying alive. They just completely dismantled them. Flattened. Yeah, just destruction. 
I mean, to tell, uh, one, I've got one tiny shining light. Here it is, Chad. That NIP on the T side were good at winning the rounds they shouldn't. Yeah, this is just <laughs> feeling like hopeless now, right? Yeah. This is the OG that we remember from the group stage where they look great, right? They just went through, they ran over everybody, they won every single. I mean, top game in your group their is, way. is quite the achievement considering who was in it. And Flames continues where he left off already. Some chip damage caught onto device through that smoke. Intentions for a B finish, it seems. Yeah, there's no rush here. I think we'll see OG kind of take their time about this one. They were very thorough in the previous maps against these rounds. And when it looked like they were going to end in a stack, the last minute play and last minute info came on through and they were able to Ouch. avoid destruction. And that was a great shot there from Mantu. Now look, it hasn't been the carry level performance, but he's been contributing more so in this map. He's up to 14 kills. Been playing his role here. And when the scoreline is currently sitting at a 12 to four, likely to be a 13 to four, this is a well-oiled machine right now from OG. Yeah, it really does look like, you know, OG have got their ducks in a row. Everything falls into place. All the individuals doing at what is demanded of them. Valder's been a very quiet 16 frags. He was very potent on the B defense. Component of it. Valder's pulled out the very limited util they had. In fact, Chad, there you go. Check the mark. It's 40 seconds and they've got rid of every CT util. Yeah, now they're grouping up for a bit to be here. So uh, unless Nico gets caught off guard by the Hampus push, they should be set for success here. There's the push. Bullet hasn't landed to the dome right now, and now Nico can capitalize on that, just keeping him busy while they come out on the mid to be. He gets the kill, but he's lost the sight. Yeah, that's quite the price to pay and smoked off. You'll have to just bide time. Probably going to call it a day, actually, here, because Linus Device, they're nowhere to be found. Plopsky's top middle. Unless they can do some damage, unless they can unravel Valder, who's so up close and personal, they might just be done in this one. Oh, felt like Valder had all day to adjust to that, and they're falling. They're giving up. They're forced by what they had invested into this. They could have carried through for another crack here, but NIP lands to the slaughter. Just one surviving Plopsky, who's had a really, really rough game. But a really rough game of this. He's just going to do his best to find a consolation kill, maybe try and get himself out of this funk. Yeah, bro, that is a tough scoreline to be posting on a third map of a quarterfinal. And in stark contrast, you take a look at Flames, similar in age, delivering an incredible performance here on our Dust 2. Puts him up to, what is he now? He's in the 20s, I think. Yeah, 20 to 7. OG really did find a little uncut diamond, didn't they? Yeah, it's great to see, right? Still more and more talent being found. Is that Richard Lewis in the camera? Is it? That's Richard Lewis. He's in the bloody fan camps. Um, Hello, Richard. Richard. Richard Lewis fan camp uh, experience. Go catch him now if you yeah, can. You've only got probably about three more rounds to do so. <laughs> so go, go say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Get us an autograph. All right. Well, uh, the B-bomb side is the open runway right here. So might just be the finish, the second letter of the alphabet here again for OG. They could fumble and fall in towards this A stack, but three USPs, a CZ and a Deagle. I'm not super concerned. Something would have to go extremely wrong here. Plopsky CZ 5K. Ah. Uh... And that's l something. Yes, and they, they can still, you know, they, there's a, a little bit of traction. What that He just threw it. Catapulted towards Linus. Nico still in this upper tunnel's position. And they're just going to evacuate. So a couple more bits of utility to keep NIP busy over towards this A site. They're smoked off on the rotation. Nico now taking a glance in through upper tunnels. And the mid to be again here to put the 14th on the board. Only a matter of time now. Habis with some shots on through, almost guarantees that Device scrambling for whatever space he can handle. And well, that's not a whole lot on the receiving end of Valdez Galil. And this would be quite the comeback. Yeah, I mean, it'd be just shy, wouldn't it, of the record-breaking Dust 2 comeback. I think that was a 15 to 3, and VP. Oh, and they're going to lose everything as well. Yeah, absolutely everything. A Galil falls to the floor last. And so they'll be presenting everything they can. All of their schmeckles invested into what will be round 19. Let's go, NIP. What do you got left in the tank here? Device into the glass cannon. 
Bit of a stall out here with the start, right? No early long presence. It's a bit of a late mid biff. So wait for that Xbox smoke to land. Then barrel on down. Alexi just holding that W key. Um, and they're so quick on this. Yeah, Rez was thinking about a reload. He's just been run down. Blinders caught fully flashed. What a call. And look how quickly the round ends. Alexi's just nerded on him there. Like he, the, he, he just bought paused. a max 10. He, he, he carried it through. He just paused, though. Like, he could have upgraded. The guy had, like, six grand. They, they're happy to run that strat. Like, that right there, he has called that exactly what they've done there. Okay, I'm just going to hide in uh, suicide. He's just going to sit and wait. And then as soon as the Xbox smokes lands, he just barreled down mid. He just barreled straight down mid. And they just had mid-to-be smokes ready. And Reza just finished, conveniently, his smoke spam. Uh, yeah. Just caught on the reload, rushing through. You see the Xbox smoke, you're not expecting him just to run out mid like that. No. Like, it's just pedal to the metal, just absolute insanity right here. Mantu still has the scout. Right, like, he doesn't even need the orb. You know, he'll upgrade into the org. Why the hell not? Alexi got himself an upgrade into an M4 as well. They have only lost on this T side. I know they didn't need a lot of rounds here, but it's only been three deaths in these four rounds. It hasn't been a competitive map whatsoever. Yeah, this OG streak starting to get potent into the semis if they can convert. And this is what we were just talking about. Lovely body shots. Fully flashed, it's perfectly synchronized with a jump out from Nico, and this is looking like the same OG we saw take down G2 three weeks ago. Complexity, I mean, to be fair, you know, we, we they looked impressive in the games. They, they were pushed by the likes of Sinners and Fours, but this is the OG we've seen in their victories. It's very dominant. A change up though, an NIP uh, opening kill. Look at this aggression from Hampus. So you can tell it's desperate out there. He might actually get something out of this. The bullets mm. just land. Volda dead and now a three on five. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe there is a round here for NIP. Alexi the walking wounded, nine HP for him. Device and Reza both posted up in middle. Plopsky, the lone defender of A and Linus. Well, he will have backup if required, and maybe it will be required here. Yeah, I don't fancy his chances on this. I mean, he's not got any smoke or incendiary to drop, so he's just going to play a little headshot angle, try and catch them on the walk. Lurk smoke drop. That will be where Device likely gets summoned. It is just on Linus. Poor soul. Poor soul. They smoke the doors, Device gets ahead of it, so he can at least back up his teammate. This is for all the marbles. OG could finish it here. Will they clear Device? Playing it passive, the flash for Device's position. He has to tuck in, it's perfectly played by Nico. And now Linus kept on us with just the one. NIP, hopes and dreams hinge on a 2v2. Dream w scenario. Wow, will it end right here and now? Plopsky involved in it. He requires more kills in this round than he has in the entirety of Dust2 so far. Can he find it? Chipped away already. Nades have landed, buying time. And Flames going for it. Perfectly timed. He puts one down. He can't finish the job. It's Plopsky to save the ninjas. And it's...